Hi, I'm Christy Simpson. Today's question is, how do you set up an offering for your children's music ministry at your musical performances? And I got this question because I had mentioned something that we had done, um, uh, having an offering for our children's musical group. Now, for those of you that don't have a big fund, like if your church doesn't fund it, you don't do a lot of fundraising, it can be great to do an, a love offering um, at the end of the service. And that's where you can tell people, this is just gonna go back to offsetting the cost that we've spent on this for this great program. And they're all so excited because they just saw their beautiful children perform. That's a great way to do it. Now, there's a couple things you can do. You can do, now this is a little crazy, but I've done this before. You can actually do an offering like at a stopping point, two thirds of the way in the musical, something exciting. Sometimes we've done that if the pastor needs to come up and make an announcement, do something like that, just chop it. That's a little crazy. Some people do an offering at the end. They do like a closing song over again and have some of their leads come out into the audience and pass a plate then. You could do it during the, um, the finale, like not doing it again, but the first time you do the finale, you could do that. What we have started doing is we have started doing it after the show, after the bows, and there's two ways you can do that. You can do a special song, like maybe a reprise of one of the songs everybody really loved, or another song that you've been working on, like a worship song or a standalone performance song. You can do that and then pass a plate then and say you're supporting our ministry, thank you all so much, and you still get to perform another song. Uh, or you can do what we've done most recently, which is what I've gotten the questions on, is that we've had a parent feature number. Now this doesn't work quite as well at the very small churches because then presumably your whole audience is parents and they would come up to the stage and you would have no one to give money. So we don't want that. But in any sizable amount of a church or grandparents, they'll give money. Um, you ask the parents to come tag out their child. So the children are standing on the risers and you say, parents come tag out your child and the child when your parent tags you, you can come and sit in front and watch or help coach them. So you can sit them right off the stage on the floor or even off to the sides. And then the parents stand in the child's place and then they sing one of the songs. You go ahead and send them the song ahead of time so they can be practicing it. It's very fun, the kids love it. The parents sometimes love it, sometimes hate it. Um, and the audience definitely loves it. Uh, so just, you know, you send it out and say, hey parents, be practicing this song. I know your kids are gonna love seeing you up there. And it's just kind of a fun, crowd pleaser and a way that you can you know, pass the offering plate, but also have a lot of fun with the parents. And you know, if these parents' kids are in programs, there's a great likelihood that they were in a program when they were young and some of them really ham it up. Uh, they have to do the solo. If the kid has a solo, they have to take their solo. You do the motions, you have your volunteers kind of showing them what hand movements to do. And it's just a lot of fun. Something that I definitely will keep doing forever because it's just been, kind of added uh, some life to our performance that we didn't used to have. Very fun. Uh, so please keep sending me your questions and I'll catch you next time.